Kirtov, good morning. We continue with the three minute daily dose of Torah. So let's just finish off this storyline uh, about the attempt to um, destroy the Moshiach of Israel somehow or another, right? The, the Savior of Israel, wherever he comes from, everybody's got to be in the effort. Throw the babies and cast the babies into death, into the river, etc., etc. So it shouldn't be lost on us. In the end, just the sweet irony, or this the hand of Hashem, obviously, and how this story concludes, which is that Moshe, we know, is born, and then after a few months, when she, he cannot be hidden anymore, um, he uh, the mother, his mother decides, takes an almost impossible decision to put him into a basket and put him into the river. The river where into which babies are supposed to be thrown to their death, he's placed and, and kept to, for in life. And who finds him? Uh, just like I, mean, I, I know this is not news to most of you, but who finds him? Bat Paro, who goes out to to bathe by the river, and she uh, she finds his baby and she brings him home. And Batomer la bat paro heilichet hayelad. I'm sorry, hold on a second. Batikach heisha hayelad batnikehu. Fine, right? Vidal hayelad. That's what we get to, right? So for a period of time, the motion we know is brought back to to be nursed by his own mother. The clutch, the best clutch move ever to ensure that. But when he grows old and he's weaned, but to be a levat paro, she's brought to the daughter of Pharaoh by Hila Levain. And she was for him as her own son. He, she adopts him. But he crash Moshe. She calls his name Moshe. But Tomer came in a mind, Mishi Tihu. She said, because I drew him from the water. And that's an Egyptian name. And we know, and it's also the Midrashic uh, interpretations of what, you know, and, and picture that he imagined here, that here is this little baby growing up, not just by, and, and taken care of by Bat Paro in her, you know, her private home. She sits on Pharaoh's lap. This baby sits on Pharaoh's lap, plays with his crown. Um, and people get a little nervous. They do a little they, whatever they do, other tests. But like it's it's just such an amazing version of a story that uh, that Hashem is in, ensuring that um, that we not miss. You think Pharaoh that you're gonna that, that the Moshiach has to be uh, destroyed because that outside danger is gonna be there to uh, to cause you harm. You brought this child into your own home. Who's ultimately going to teach you the lesson that you need to learn um, about who who leads this world, who's the master of this world, and who God's people are, um, and 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 how they must be uh, indeed revered and honored and and released and not destroyed in the way that they have been. Wishing you all a great day.